You found anything yet? Nope. I kind of oh. found this gun, but it's too small of caliber, you know what I mean? Oh. I'm keeping it, though. Well, we gotta find some clues or something. Kind of glad he's dead. <sighs> this guy. I'm just pointing it out there. Have you seen a giant gun? No. <sighs> There's a mystery afoot. There's been a murder. What's going on YouTube? This is Mason AJ. And this is IBM. And today we're bringing you the original Sin storyline by Marvel. Uh, I wasn't a fan of it. it. It didn't bring enough to me. Well, okay. Just for, for people out there who didn't read this. So, you, it's a mystery. Thank you, God. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Because the Watcher has been murdered. And to make matters worse, his eyes have been taken. So Nick Fury contracts the Avengers to like track down the murderer. He don't contract them because he don't pay. Well, Just like <laughs> <laughs> he goes, guys, Scooby Doo gang, you need to come here and solve this mystery. The Watcher's eyes are gone. And it's looking like, yo, okay. No. What what, ha what what do we care about the Watcher? That dude comes up every 15 years. And he goes, oh, something is happening. And then we go, yeah, we know. We're in the middle of it. You're late. You could have did something a little bit better. All powerful. Seeing guys <laughs> I with, got, with your cape. I will say this. I will say this. The idea behind the storyline is great. Okay? The execution sucks. That is the whole point. For this to be the watcher. And for us to be like, oh, no, he's dead. Oh, gosh. Why do I care? Like, if I if I want to do it tomorrow, it's like, like, oh, the watch is dead. Well, he's not Wolverine, which is a whole story arc behind him. He, right. You know, like, where are we and going if, with this? And if you look at it, it's like, Watcher, you really only show up for, like, one cosmic thing. And it has to be something cosmic. And then it's like, on top of that, like, you don't do anything. You yeah. show up, and then we go, oh, so the event's going to be serious. Uh -huh. Because we knew you, sh you showed and up. The main point of this event was like, oh, because he's the Watcher, he sees all and knows all and has all these secrets. The okay. secrets get out. Over millennia of secrets and throughout the ages and all these multiverses and whatnot. But these secrets don't mean nothing. It, like, ooh. It doesn't do anything. Spoiler! Spoiler! Captain America, the Illuminati brainwashed you. <gasps> what? Captain America, you're blonde. <laughs> Like, Spider-Man! Uncle Ben is gonna die. Oh, that happened five years ago. You're a little bit late, right? <laughs> <laughs> kind of already a superhero because of that. Now, I will say, in the other follow-up, I guess tie-in issues, you can see how these secrets affect people, but they all they kind of... They didn't have any weight. They, you know I what? Said, it's not even the fact they didn't have any weight. They were all like open, they literally open-ended and closed-fisted. Spoiler, Iron Man created the Hulk. Whoa! You would think that would be a big thing. You think that would lead into something? But then it you did get, nothing. But then you get to the end. It's like, oh my bad. I kind of tinkered with the bomb, but I actually saved your life. And Bruce Banner, it was you who created the Hulk the whole time. All, all of them did nothing. Like nothing. And the worst part is, all these events had no weight, and they didn't lead up to anything. Like to even like be like, you know what? Let's give them some weight after the event. Like. Again, Iron Man creating the Hulk should have led into like the return of World War Hulk. That would have been something serious. Oh man, all right, all because right. of you, the Hulk was created, and now I have a horrible life. And you see him just bulk up and like punch Iron Man halfway across the comic book, and then it's like, or at least, at least in the in the storylines afterward, where you see the Hulk and he looks at Iron Man, it's a little bit funny. Like, I know, I know. Is it we cool today? But I still kind of remember that you. You're gonna hate me. You know. Another another thing. I, I just hate the fact that, okay, so, major spoiler, Nick Fury doing all this stuff to protect Earth. You then later learn that, oh gosh, it was Nick Fury who ended up finishing off the Watcher, and he took his eyes to learn his secrets. And to protect the and world. That. And then you start learning that. So Nick Fury had this cosmic sniper rifle, which had like gamma and fuse, and basically was the Hulk in a bullet. He basically shot the Hulk in a bullet to kill a bunch of gods. Or, or anything and that could possibly threaten the world. But then none of that affected us. Like this one dude literally went across the cosmos and to different dimensions, murdering all these elder gods. These aliens. God. Like stuff stuff that you have to like form a team in Skyrim to fight. You get what I'm saying? And this one dude just beast-moded all those dudes and then there's no repercussions. 
Like nothing, nothing ever comes back throughout yeah. Nick Fury's whole life. You would think no that army like, assembles and goes, "Oh, this guy murdered our king. We should just destroy yeah. him." Nothing. Now you would think that with with the Watcher being dead, the the universe itself would react to it. You would think that Galactus himself would be like, "The Watcher is gone," or some ancient alien race realizes that the Watcher is gone. Or at least the Silver Surfer. Like you know what I mean? Like, or you know what? The Watchers yes. themselves. They'd be like, you know what? Earth does too much. You know, for us to just let it How go. dare those hyper violent, ultra, ultra intelligent space monkeys murder one of our brethren? We should just destroy Earth as a testament to like how you don't dare touch a watcher or something. No, but again, we murdered this cosmic space dude who was a super god basically, with all these secrets and did nothing. Even when the secrets were taken, it did nothing to affect it like the world. Now, like, now I will say this: a couple, now some good things did come out of this book. No, One, no, the return no, of, came out of this well, no, a couple things. The return of the Orb, who is a, who is a Z-class villain. You right? could just kill him if you had a gun. You could beat him. True enough, but now he's something serious because he has like that new link to cosmic powers. Like that. If you had poison visine, you would still beat him. Okay. He's a giant eye. <laughs> You'd still beat him. If you put poison in visine. And then like threw it on him and then shot him, it would kill the orb. Okay. Cosmic eye and all. Because that eye didn't <laughs> for anybody. That's true. It didn't do anything for Nick Fury. It didn't do any anything for anybody in the comic. The, the, sec that's, that's the second good thing is what uh, reading original saying, you get to see how Nick Fury defeats Thor with a whisper. And this is the, the, the secret that he whispers in is the thing that makes Thor unworthy to wield the hammer, which then goes into the Thor storyline. I will say That's the only thing that had weight. That is the only thing that had weight. And, and, but it wasn't played up enough in the book itself. It kind of like just happened and you look like, oh yeah, Thor can lift his hammer. And then people was like, you would think that, yo, there should be a whole scene of Thor going, ah, you know, ah, you know what's the worst part? What? There actually was that scene and it only had one panel and then all the Avengers were in their ship and they go, aren't we forgetting someone? And I was thinking like, word? So you just go leave like, your main dude, like, like your you, main heavy hitter. You're gonna leave one of your main heavy hitters, like so. You just remember everybody else in the space show, but you forget the blonde guy, that seven foot tall blonde guy with the hammer. One of the only interesting people, because he's obviously a money maker. And Axe Disney. And oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> now also, it ended with Nick Fury being imprisoned on the moon to become the unseen, the one who sees all but can never interact and everything. So and that's like his punishment for murdering the Watcher, but like. I feel as a Nick Fury fan that this was kind of like a cop out for him. For, this is like a cop out way for him to go. Pretty much, it was basically we killed Nick Fury off, but we didn't kill him. So it's like he's always there in the book for everybody who likes him, but he ain't gonna show up again. And but I, I will forever, forever. Like, I will say this: it did have this book did have some funny moments. It, while we while we it did during disappointment, it did have some funny moments to see the watch him watch a murder mystery go and to see all these different pair ups. Um, the Punisher teamed up with Doctor Strange to investigate this point in the cool. mystery. Um, the Guardians of the Galaxy teamed up with Bucky, you know, to like solve this part of the mystery. Those were very interesting and very funny, and it also gave Bucky to me a final final. Bucky finally has a purpose. He finally becomes the man on the wall, which is Nick Fury's old position to protect the universe from anything that would threaten Earth. So I'm like, all right, that I can like get with. But in all, all I feel like this book was kind of like wasting my money. It wasting my money, wasting my time. It's really a waste of my time. I don't know if you know this, notice this fans, but. I generally don't like this book. Like, if you're watching me in this video right now, you can obviously tell I learned what the original sin was, and I just didn't care. Like, I looked at it, I was like, oh man, you know what? That chick did eat the apple in paradise. Oh, oh I guess we having problems now. Oh, uh, uh, comment down below. Let us know what you think about the original sin storyline. Let us know what your favorite book is, um, what your favorite moment is, what you like it, didn't dislike about it. Why not you just hate us for not liking it? Once again, I'm Mason AJ. This is IBM. Tune in next time. Peace. Again, ain't have no weight. No, all these events should have weight. I don't get what but, what it is. It's like it doesn't lead into anything. Nothing happens. You're trying to get into the cosmic game going, we need to prepare the Avengers so when they go into space in the movies to fight Ultron and Thanos and all this, <laughs> it's going to be serious. But, like, let's be honest. <laughs> all this is happening, and they still come to Earth and, like, go to subways and eat sandwiches and stuff. Like, nothing, nothing happens anymore. Nothing. Nothing shocks them. Nothing like affects the world. New York is still going to be there. Like if if the Watcher had died and killed New York, that would have been serious. I would have been like, oh snap, 9/11 on a cosmic level. It's over.